If you've encountered the dreaded DPC watchdog violation blue screen error on Windows 11, you're not alone. This issue can be frustrating, especially when it halts your work, but the good news is that it can be fixed with a few troubleshooting steps. In this video, we'll go over some common causes and solutions for this error so you can get your system back to normal. The DPC watchdog violation error in Windows 11 can be triggered by various factors. One of the most common causes is outdated or incompatible drivers for hardware components like your graphics card, network adapters, or storage devices. Another possible culprit could be firmware or BIOS issues. On top of that, software conflicts or third-party applications that aren't compatible with Windows 11 can also cause this issue. Malware or viruses might also be to blame, as they can corrupt system files and interfere with normal processes. Now, let's dive into the solutions you can try to fix the issue. The first step is to check if any suspicious applications have been installed recently. This could be anything from antivirus software, VPN programs, or even game-cracking software. These applications might not always be compatible with Windows 11, leading to the error. If you've recently installed anything that could be causing conflicts, it's worth uninstalling them to see if that resolves the issue. Another thing to try is removing any recently installed hardware. External devices like a USB Wi-Fi receiver, game pads, or external sound cards can sometimes cause conflicts, especially if they aren't fully compatible with your system. If you've added any new peripherals to your setup, try unplugging them and see if that fixes the problem. If that doesn't work, the next step is to update your device drivers. Press the Win plus X keys together and select Device Manager. Look for any drivers that have a yellow exclamation mark next to them, which indicates a problem. A good idea is to visit the official website of your motherboard manufacturer and check for the latest driver updates. Updating these drivers, especially for critical components like your graphics card and network adapter, can often resolve the issue. If you've updated your drivers and still see the error, it might be time to update your SSD and BIOS or UEFI firmware. Sometimes persistent blue screen errors occur due to outdated firmware, and updating your SSD or motherboard firmware can make a significant difference. This is especially true if you're seeing intermittent errors that aren't tied to any specific software or hardware issue. Be sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions carefully when updating your firmware to avoid any potential issues. Another potential cause for the DPC watchdog violation error is a virus infection. Malware can often trigger system errors like this, so it's essential to run a full scan to rule out any malicious programs. Windows Defender is a good option for this, but you can also use a third-party antivirus program if you prefer. Make sure to run a complete system scan and remove any detected threats. If none of these solutions seem to work, the issue could be related to a recent Windows 11 update. Sometimes, after a major or minor update, certain drivers or system files may become incompatible, leading to errors like the DPC watchdog violation. If you think this might be the case, you can uninstall the latest update. To do this, click on the Start menu and open the Windows Settings application by clicking the gear icon. Then, select Windows Update from the left-hand menu and click on Update History on the right. From there, you'll see an option to Uninstall Updates. This will show a list of recent updates, and you can select the one causing the issue and click the Uninstall button. By following these steps, you should be able to fix the DPC watchdog violation error on your Windows 11 system. Of course, if you've tried all of these solutions and the problem persists, it could be a sign of more serious hardware failure, and you may want to consult a professional technician to diagnose and resolve the issue. But for most people, these steps should help get your system back up and running smoothly again. Thanks for watching, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more troubleshooting tips. <laughs>